What's up, this your boy Boss Weapon Clover Gang. You're now watching Team Rich TV. I'm Boss from Phone 9, Beaumont, Texas. A lot of people think I'm from Houston, but I'm right here on Phone 9, you know. I'm an artist currently on Clover Gang, that's Lil Flip Play. It's south and we bang true. Some of my homies claim red and some claim blue. Already. What about you? GK was NW. Some of my biggest inspiration of music, uh, gotta be Tupac for sure. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, most definitely. And uh, I'm gonna say Zero, just to name a few. And the influence they had on me, man, like Bone, like I rap fast. You know, that's where I get that, that fast rapping flow from. Tupac, man, Tupac is the reason I started rapping. Tupac was. Uh, like when I was going through my hard times and I, I couldn't go no more, I listened to a Tupac CD, man. My, I stick my chest out, I'll be ready for the world. And I, I told myself, that's what I want to do. I want to make music that's going to help somebody get through the day. You know, so that's the influence Tupac had. Uh, Zero was like Tupac and Bone Thugs and one. Zero come from uh, like bottoms too. He come from homeless, nothing, and from where he at now, so. Very big influence on me. no difference. I didn't come this far just to work for free. I'm Clover G on my life with a bit. When would these haters learn? I don't know what these haters heard, but the tables turn. Why lie? Man, I must be. Uh, well, the name of my newest project laugh, is right Self Titled Boss, which stands for Build Off Self Success. It has uh, meaning behind it. And uh, it's some of my, not only my best work, but uh, the difference between this album and any other project I ever did was uh, I was never able to get a feature. You know, I couldn't afford a feature. I couldn't, you know, do none of that. So, like, on this one, it's very special, you know, because it's everybody I grew up listening to. All my favorite rappers, I got them right here on this project. It, it's, it's different for me, you know, so, you know, I get excited. I, I, I listen to it. I ride to it. So you definitely going to enjoy this project. It's, it's very different. But the people I have on this project include uh, Project Pet from 36 Mafia, my bro Young Noble from the Outlaws, Lazy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony, Lil Flip of course, uh, my boy Nino Brown. You know, uh, we shot the video that's on YouTube, it's titled Pay Me. Lil Kiki the Don, I got Big Pokey, and that boy Zero, you know. Do I think it take away from the project uh, slightly? Like, you know, during the performance, like if I'm on stage, I can't perform everything but you know it, it still benefits too though because when i perform these songs like if say i got them on a hook you know what I'm saying that hook it gravitates to that crowd you know so they already they don't know who i am they already gravitating and, 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 and moving with me so i think it's uh half and half you know so my homie boss and lazy bone ladies and gentlemen look i was born in the gutter do i do live performances often we Getting into it right now, you know what I'm saying? We're getting into it. It just, uh, I've been busy, like hands on with everything else. So my, my focus just been on uh, networking, you know, studio, you know, my kids. But right now, man, we're we getting into it, man, and uh, it's coming. So. Yeah, it's very hard to balance the music, you know what I'm saying, and, and your personal life. Because you got your kids, you know, you, you, you got your, your wife. It, it's, it's hard. But uh, I think they know the seriousness of it, so they, they involved in it with me. Like, I might bring my kids to the studio. They come to the studio with me, you know what I'm saying? Or I might ask, you know, my homegirl, like, hey, what you think about this? She gonna give me the truthful. So it, it's, it's a half and half on that, too. But it's very, it, you know, it get complicated at times. Sometimes it just, you know, it's a breeze, so it just depends. Uh, originality to me is very important, man. I'm still stuck in the, uh, the golden age, you know, and now, that's the big problem I have with music is everybody's sounding the same. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not used to that. So originality to me, I think you stand in your own category, man. Like I'm, right now, I'm in my own lane. I'm in my own lane. Uh, I'm not worried about none of that. I'm not really worried about what's hot. You know, I'm trying to create my own, my own, you know, thing. So you know, what people can do, what I'm doing. So uh, I'm still big on originality, very big on it. Uh, I think the new wave, uh, the the uh, digital wave. I think. Uh, I actually like it, you know what I'm saying? CDs, to me, I, I don't think CDs dead, you know, because I still like my music right now is on, uh, any, any way you get your music online, you can get my music. 
But I still have people call me like, uh, inbox me like, hey, I want a CD. So CDs are very still much in, you know. Me, I, I, I do, I think it's easier, you know, doing it the, the digital way. So uh, to each his own. Uh, my relationship with Flip, man, Flip a bro, man. That's the busiest dude I ever met. He really don't have time. So for him to take that time to reach out and uh, just to help uh, show that he care, it, it means so much to me, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's my bro. Man, that's fam for life, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but uh, he been helping me, man, and like he all through the album. He on damn near every song. So for him to take that time out, man, I, it means so much to me, man. Actually, I'm glad you asked that question, man. We got uh, the Clover Gang album out now. It's called the Clover Nostra. We got everybody from Clover Gang on there, man. Y'all make sure I go check that out. We got special guest features from, uh, we got uh, Jim Jones on there. We got 8-Ball, MJG on there, and we got 2 Chains. So y'all make sure y'all check that out, man. That, that's, that just came out not too long ago, so make sure y'all go get that. What I charge, you know, I've been showing, uh, I, I've been trying to show love for the low man, because I know it's hard getting money to, to do a feature, so man. I, I would say five, you know what I'm saying? I'm five off the, off the top, 250 down. At this point, rap is making me money. It, it wasn't in the beginning. In the beginning, you know, I, I, I got like a, a big passion for music, you know? So I never really did music. And I get this from Bone too. You know, Lazy Bone told me, don't do music for, uh, for money. You know, do it for the passion, do it for your love for it. So it wasn't making no money at first and it was costing. Now it's it's a little different. It's a different ball game for me, man. Like I just released a project in in a week span. You go check your uh, you know, when I go check, it's it's, it's like people, you know, it's money. Like I'm not used to that. So it's 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 definitely a different ball game. Then you know, you, like I said, you make money for your features, uh, just different things. And I do. I got the clothing line now, so it's like I'm a walking brand. It's a little slightly different. I'm still getting used to it, and. Uh, I'm spending a lot of money. I'm going to tell you that just as fast as I make it, I spend it. So I'm still learning. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, but it's definitely making money now. And uh, I'm doing like artist management. You know what I'm saying? It's not free, but nothing should be free. You know what I'm saying? You should, if you really uh, care about your career, you should invest in yourself. If you can't invest in yourself, you can't expect nobody else to do it. Because a lot of people, man, we, we got these dreams. We watching TV. We thinking somebody's going to pick us up and just, why would they do that? You know what I'm saying? Like, if if you if you invest in yourself, they gonna look at you. And they gonna if he invests in himself, they gonna say I'm gonna invest in him too. So what? You, what? You, that's the start of it. What I got? I got an outlet, man. It's like 463 cottage radio stations. You know what I'm saying? It's, what I'm trying to do is bring like a little machine to to boom it. You know, cause cause everybody not gonna make it. Everybody the 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 the, the chances of just big getting signed to a big deal. A label or a rapper just really taking time, it's, 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 it's not likely, you know. Speaking of giving back, you know, I got a, a big giveaway to my, uh, what I'm doing, I'm trying to focus in on my top supporters. So we're doing a big giveaway right now, man. One of the giveaways is, uh, you know, this shoe. This DJ screw face on the shoe, you know what I'm saying? You know, DJ screw stamp. We got the uh, Houston skyline on the back. You know, it's going to be autograph signed. We're giving away at least like two, three pair of these. We got, I've been giving away free uh, clothing line to let y'all know we we, pay, we paying attention. We thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? I even paid a few bills. You know, I paid a few people bills, man. And that's just to show you know the, the, uh, the gratitude, man. We, we love y'all just like y'all y'all love us. So, you know, I got my team watching and uh, you paying attention. What's up, world? It's your boy, Boss, repping Clover Gang, and you've been watching Team Rich TV.